You are so unbelievable. What's the meaning of what you did outside? Don't give me that look, Clara. Don't. Why did you embarrass me in the presence of Felix? Oh, that. Well, you have refused to man up. I refused to man up? Mm -hmm. You know, you're really funny. I have always carried out my responsibilities, even in my difficult situation. So I do not know what you're talking about. Listen, Lori, you see this pretense right here? I hate it. How? My friend is celebrating her engagement party. And I begged you to get me a bag. Fendi bag, precisely. What did you do? You have refused to do it. And you did not think that the smart thing to do was to wait for me to get into the house before you engage me in this kind of conversation? Please, waiting for you to get inside the house would have been a total waste of time. <sighs> that aside, in the wardrobe, you have so many bags. I remember buying a bag for you two weeks ago, so why exactly do you need another bag? What did you say again? Two weeks ago, right? Listen, that is old fashion. Yes, you know I am very classy. I need to be wearing things that I invoke. So please, get me that bag if you want peace to wake me in this your house. Get me the bag. Get me the bag, Bobby. I have told you my own. You cannot be telling me two weeks ago. Get me the Fendi bag. Uh -uh. Look at me now. Sweet sister like me. Want to, want to keep me. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. I don't like that nonsense. Bro. Get me that bag, else you don't have Still awake. Why are you not yet asleep? You and Mom are here to go. <sighs> Honey, I was just talking to your mother. We were having a conversation. Don't worry, everything will be fine, okay? Now go to bed, go and sleep. 
I can't sleep. Why? There is no peace in this house. Come on, Gisela, there is peace in this house. Like I said, your mom and I were having a discussion. Hmm? Now let's go to your room so you can get some sleep. My teacher said I should invite my parents. Oh. I hope there is no problem. I don't know. Alright. I'll find time to see your teacher, okay? Okay, Dad. Now, let's go to your room so we can play some games! Oh, look at you, you're going so big. Oh my god, I know. Baby, please. Remember the rosy days. I always provided everything you wanted. Can't you just at least bear with me right now that I've gone through hard times? Still, <laughs> why do you think I'm still in this marriage? You know, because I am bearing with you. Okay. Huh? Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry if there's any way I've wronged you at all. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> hey, 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 wait, wait. Ah, do you want to rape me? I will shout to rape you. You want to rape rest? See, you, 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 you can beg. Eh? Because you want to have sex now, you're begging. Please, what? I said no. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I'm not in the mood. But be looking like this. Why are you behaving like this? I will still, I will, I will go downstairs now. I'll sleep in the living room. Don't touch me. Why is it that you always deny me of my matrimonial rights whenever you need me to get you some material things and I don't? Why? Oh, leave me. Leave me alone, this man! Let me see my boss. Out! Out! You see, I saw you. Who went to that or go? Let me alone, I don't want. I don't want. Leave me. Leave me. Oh, let me leave me alone. Oh, teacher Rose, good afternoon. Good How are you? Ah, oh, I'm, I'm fine. Where, where are you off to? I'm just sure that I'm really hungry. Oh shit. How time flies. Um, you saw her didn't come to school today. She's fine. Well, she um uh, she's okay, just that she has a slight headache. I'm too sorry about that. I will, but um I actually came here to see you. since you're going home already, uh, maybe you can share them some other time because Mr. said he wants to see me. Oh, um, I forgot about it. It's not this way, you can't talk about it. Okay. Um, the thing is, I've noticed Bishop has not been happy. She's always in the class. She doesn't have to herself to go class meetings. And it's all like her. The terrible part of it was her grades are really bad. I don't know what's happening, but I think it would be good if I took the picture of her. Okay. I have noticed her quietude, mm. but I never knew it would affect her grades. It's really All right, um, thank you for the information now. I'll work on that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Hey, Kenny. Welcome. <sighs> what a day. I can imagine. What's in the bag? The bag you asked for. It's a lie. My friend, you back. Oh my goodness! In addition to that, I also got you a gown. I'm sure you like it. A gown? Mm -hmm. Even the friend came with a super. <laughs> oh my god, Red! Oh my darling, I love you! Babes! <laughs> 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 you know Red is my 
favorite color. I know, that's why I got it. Oh, baby, thank you. You know what? I'm rocking you back tonight. <laughs> I'll make you happy. Uh, you know what? What? Yeah, and uh, speaking of which, I met with Miss Rose. Okay. And she complained about her daughter. That her grades has been dropping. Okay. And she said that experience is our duty to make sure that her daughter is fine. She's doing well. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you for a few. Okay. Can you help me keep a close eye? We have close watching this or that. Let's find out what the issue is. Oh, babes. <laughs> Why are you sounding like she's not my child, too? Of course, I mean, I mean, she's our daughter. Okay? Thank you, love. <laughs> Stop thanking me. <laughs> so, um, let me go over something for you to be to for them to talk. So, you have something to give. I know my heart what I feel oh, for you. No, no. <laughs> Though confused, but I feel in a peace with you. Know in my heart that I wanna spend my life with you. Don't care what to say, I'm down and I fight for you. You know, Daddy loves you, girl. How are you doing, my darling? I'm fine. But I'm hungry. You're hungry? Where's your mom? She went out. By this time of the night? It's past 9 p.m. already. Uh, you know what? Just take daddy's bag to the bedroom. I'll prepare something for you to eat, okay? Okay, All right. That's why you have your daddy. Hello? Clara! Clara! Hello, honey. I can't tell you because of the noise. I'm so sorry I'm not being able to come home tonight because it's late and my friend is out of work. I'm at Amanda's wedding party. See you tomorrow. Take care of yourself. Bye. Oh my darling baby. I am so sorry, sweetheart. Where are you coming from? Babe, I went to Amanda's birthday party. Baby, you won't believe it. The caliber of men that came for that party. See it us. Eh? Governors, baby, you need to see the party was lit. They were just spraying money. Dollars. Eh? Clara, do you
Do you understand that you're a married woman with a daughter? And it is your duty to take good care of her. It's not my fault, man. The party did not close on time. Can you even listen to yourself? Can you listen to yourself? You left your daughter, Bisola, hungry. You're a married woman for crying out loud. You should start acting like one. Ah, why are you shouting now? No, why are you shouting? Is it my fault? I don't understand. So I should just sit at home and take care of you and Bisola for what? No. Yes, that is what married women do. As a full-time housewife, that is what you should do. Except you want to go out there and get a job. Over my living body. Very hey, listen to me. I am a young girl. A vibrant girl like that. Just take a look. Just check me out and balance me well. Please. I don't, I don't, I don't want to be caught up with this web of marriage thing. Did you mind me to come and cage me? Hey, I don't understand. I should not live my life again because I am married to you. At the detriment of your marriage? Without even conceiving your daughter? Larry, see, please, don't even start. Anyways, I know what your problem is. It is poverty. Yes, it's because you don't have money. Larry, it is not my fault. Okay, it is not my fault. So don't come and start transferring aggression. You're just angry that they cannot mention your name where, 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 where big men stand. Just please, don't hold it. Don't you just know how ridiculous you sound. Like. Mm. Do you know how very ridiculous you sound? Like? How soon you have forgotten how it used to be, Larry? Mm. Clara. Let that be for me. Look at how dressed you are. A married woman for that matter. Now, we don't insult me. I will not take it. Say this is what I will not take it. Don't even start. I don't blame you. It's not your fault. How I don't you blame, blame you at all. You cannot blame me now. How would you? you cannot blame, blame it on poverty. Am I because of your problem? No, so you cannot blame me. You're not a stupid man. You're a useless hey, man. Hey, hey, Clara, no, Clara, you're Clara, stupid. Guy, you better watch it. No, watch if you it. talk to me like that again, I will give you a dirty slap. Larry, you will give me a dirty slap. What? Slap me. Larry, I said slap me. Get your hands. <laughs> no, you will kill me. Today. I can see the devil is trying to use you. Kill me. The devil wants to use you, Clara. Yeah, what? Get your hands off my clothes! No! No, Daddy wants to make you want to live! He wants to kill me! Let him kill me! Shame me! Get your hands off my clothes! Kill me! Oh, Daddy, kill me! Kill me! Oh, God, look at this! No! Your father wants to kill me! Let him kill me! If he does not kill me today, I will leave this house! Kill me or I will leave this house for you! If I... What is it? Your father wants to kill me! Let him kill me! Why are you crying? Please, just say, Father, let him kill me. Kill me, or I'll leave this house for you. Okay. You like you kill me, or I'll leave this house for you. Rubbish. You want to give me a come and die in poverty. No work for you. It's your nonsense, man. Money you don't have. Yet you will not allow me to live my life. Uh-uh. You didn't marry me. You didn't let me marry me. Come and kill me.
Hey, babe. I hate you, guys. Mm. Babe? Hmm? Look at this. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, my friend's boyfriend. Give me that boyfriend. I like it. Give me the formatum. So, so nice. Seven hundred and fifty k for these jewelries. Yeah. Ah, it's expensive though. Okay. That's too much, huh? Too much. Yeah. It's just seven hundred and fifty k. Just 750k. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Honey, our rent is 800,000 naira. And this is 750k. That means just 50k difference. Mm -hmm. I like you, bro. I need it. Don't you wait for me. So that's why you should rent. Ah, okay. You know that I will provide just about anything you want. <sighs> but I just paid this last school fees. And I'm about to pay for our house rent. I don't really have money on me. Ah, babe. Yeah, I want it babe. In fact, I don't just want it. I need it. It's very, very necessary. I need it. I know. I'll, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Try to try this. Okay, baby, let's try it. Every day I wake up and they try. Make everything pay So many nights Papa Sorry yeah, But why did you wait inside the office? Ah, no, 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 no I don't want our colleagues to see you giving me money But talking about this Don't you think you're coming too much borrowing all the time? No, no, no I, just, I need this money to take care of my family needs I need to take care of my wife and my daughter Bullying to take care of your family is not too good. It makes you live beyond your capacity. Don't you think so? This particular money is for my wife. There's something I need to get for her. Mary, she is your wife. I expected her to understand you instead of making you go into debt all the time. Didn't you put debt before getting married? Because you know my wife. She always likes to be classy. Honestly, I'm doing this because of you. But I will want you to keep your words. And if you know me now, I promise you I will pay back. You said it's 750,000. 750,000. You still have your account. Honestly, I'm doing this because of you. Thank you, bro. Same account, right? Mm -hmm. I hope you got the jewelry I asked you to get. Is that the welcome I'm supposed to get? Clara, I wonder where your manners went to go to their sick. So you can't even ask me how my day went. Ask you how your day went. Listen, Larry, start behaving like the man of the house, and I will behave like your wife, okay? Again. I'll send the money to you. Maybe you have the money. You have the money? Yeah, I took the money. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Ah! My love. <laughs> the most handsome man in Nigeria. Ah, baby. so much. Oh, my sweet husband. You know I love you. Please, please. I'm not ready for all this. I need to rest. You need to rest. You don't worry. God will give you back that money that you want. Hmm? I serve a living God. He will give you back that money. My adoku. Hey. Check your account. I'm sending Oh, what's my phone? My phone. I'm so excited. Hello, babe. 
lives. I am good. Babe, guess what? Just try now. That one is so, but that's not it. My husband just got me that diamond jewelry your husband got for you. Yes, the higher version of it. <laughs> I'm telling you. Congratulations, baby girl. Thank you, my darling. Like, I'm super happy. It's gonna be a slaying thing. Clara. <laughs> Babe, she knows what I'll call you back. Alright. <laughs> Wasn't it just for you to like? Please stop getting angry unnecessarily. Once again. Thank you for the money. <laughs> Come on. You're so cute. Don't go home. Bebe. I love you. In fact, I'm coming to give it to you anyhow you want it. I mean, you deserve it. Hmm? There's no food. I said, can I at least get something to eat? I said, there is no food. There is no food? How? Why? There's no seasoning. The last one I used it yesterday and it's finished. What stopped you from taking a walk down the road to get seasoning? Seasoning of 100 Naira? Ha. Me, I'm just managing the little money I have. Home. Please. So you couldn't sacrifice a hundred naira for this house, your home? What, what is your problem, Clara? It's just hundred naira seasoning. Why are you yelling at me? No, why are you yelling at me? Are you not the man of the house? Are you not the man of the house? Please, do not mistake your responsibilities for mine. I beg you. Oh, please, you know I always buy the pack. It's not this one time that we are lacking it. Mm, one time. One time, like you just said, if not properly treated, it will turn to a hundred times. So please don't even start. Oh my God. That's my daughter, Miss Bisona. She's not stressed, she's sleeping. She's sleeping mm. on an empty stomach. Clara, your daughter is sleeping on an empty stomach. What do you want me to do? No, I don't understand. Come, I don't even understand you or this man. What do you want me to do? Now? There's no Maggie in the house now. Well, want me to, 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 to go outside and buy Maggie. Today is Maggie, tomorrow to be soft. Next morning to be sugar. Please, I don't have that strength. Ah, what is this? You are the man. Behave like the man. Bring money. Let's buy Maggie. Now, let's buy sugar. Let's buy soft. Let's buy sugar. 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 For what now? Don't buy it. All of us will starve in this house. Nonsense. Every time you'll be shouting, shouting, shouting for just common money. Buy it now! It is common! Broke man, buy it! Nonsense. Yay! Hey. Um, so you bought 
not food for yourself and your daughter without buying for me ever. Hi! Clara, why don't you go back to bed on an empty stomach? <laughs> no way. I will eat this food. It is you that will go to bed with an empty stomach. Go back to bed on an empty stomach since that is what you intended for my daughter. Hmm. Larry, you lie. You see this food that I thought I finished eating it. Look at you. You know I love fast food. You know that very well. You used to buy it for me when I, before I had Bisola. And ever since I gave birth to Bisola, you just stopped. And now you came back with food without my own. Clara, hmm. drop that food. No drop that food. I am not dropping the food. Mm -hmm. I will eat it and then nothing. Clara, if you it. don't drop that food, I'm going to do something this night that you will not you will not like at all. If you don't drop that food, I will do something that you will regret. Do your worst, stupid man. Tell me you're fighting because of food. Do your worst. Clara. That which is supposed to be your wife and your kid. I don't you supposed to do that. That you want to come and drop food. Come and kill me now. And I wants to kill me because of food. Come and kill me. I am eating this. You go on. Nonsense. Hi. Just imagine the kind of food you people are eating. I can't take care of himself. It's alright, I'm fine. I'm fine. That's my girl. Take a big chunk. There you go. You know that he loves you. Love you, love you, love you. In this life, that is my princess. No condition is permanent. Chicken is not smoked. I might be struggling today. I might be struggling today. No matter how long it takes, it will not delay. Mom, yes? please, can we talk? <clears throat> this one, you're sounding like my elder sister. I need to talk to you. Okay, go ahead, I'm listening. Mom, please, can you stop treating Dad the way you're treating him? Will you shut up? What do you know? Who gave you the right to come here and tell me that nonsense? Are you stupid? What is wrong with you? Come here. The next time you come to me with this nonsense topic again, I will slap you. What is wrong with you? Listen, you are still a child. You're just 10 years old, Bisola. Like, what do you know? You know nothing about marriage, okay? Do not come to me talking nonsense until you attain a marital status. Do you know what I've been through in the house of your father? Do you know? Listen, your father has decided to act like a goat. And I will continue to treat him like a goat. Do you hear me? So do not ever come to me with such rubbish demands again. Am I understood? Have I made myself clear? Out. Hey, Martin. Hey, you're going to see this house. Hey. You got busy, by the way. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, honey. Let's Give get... me alone. Is that all you can say? Huh? That is all you can say, right? Listen, I need a car. I really, really need a car. Damn it! I need a car! Ah! Is she okay? She's sick now. 
So she needs some medication. Why didn't you take her to the hospital? We are the National Health Insurance Scheme, which means it's free of charge. Well, if you have noticed, ever since I demanded for a car, I haven't stepped outside this house. Yes, I haven't gone out. Are you joking right now? I am more than serious. Car, are you seriously joking with me right now? I'm telling you the fact. I'm not joking. You'll be alright. How is it my fault? I don't have a car. What was I supposed to do? Get me a car. You don't want to get me a car. So you can't expect me to enter again. I know that one is not even possible. This one is your team. I don't even understand. kitchen cooking and I, I had some noises so I decided to come check. I see. I actually came to see your wife. Oh, she stepped out to see a friend. <sighs> okay, um, I'll ask you to be there next time. Next time? <laughs> Go ahead, talk to me. Well, I um, Miss Larry, is it you have to kiss me? Oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> come on, I'm done cooking. You can talk to me. What is the problem? Let's tell my child to be sorry. My academic performance is during the day my day. I remember talking to you about it the last time, but I told you twice to talk to you. Um, she's not performing well. Okay. Oops. Same complaint. Well, I promise you, we'll do the needful. And when her mother returns, I'll let her know. Thank you for your modeling angel. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Penny. Yes, sir. You know we need to do it, right? Alright, join them in the kitchen.
You live there? Yeah, I live there. Uh, how about I come in? Oh, uh, no, 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 not today. Okay, maybe some other time. No problem, so we could probably hand out some other time to come for drinks. Sure, why not? <laughs> Let me have your number. Okay. Chase. Okay. 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 That's my number. Oh, okay. So I'll give you a call. Alright. I can't wait for us to hang out. You know, you have a lot to tell me, Jesse. A whole lot. <laughs> I can't wait. I'll be looking forward. Of course, sure. Let me know whenever you're free, yeah? Alright, thank you. Alright. JC! <laughs> <laughs> Bye! So, see Jason, Jason the bricklayer, is now a big boy, he now flies abroad with a big car, in fact one of his cars, hi, see Jason that was asking me out 12 years ago, then I was dating that useless man Larry, if I had known, if I had known I would have just accepted him, eh? Now he's the one bullying me. I'm, me, I'm now wallowing in poverty in the hands of that stupid land. <sighs> Anyways, thank God I have his number. Me, I have no door this time around. No darling. <laughs> ahead, ahead. Ah! <laughs> Time of the night. It's past 1 a.m. Or is that a new trend to stay awake all night? You should be sleeping. Who are you chatting with? Larry, please. Let me have peace. I want peace. When I was sleeping, it was your laughter that woke me up. If you want to stay awake all night, fine. But reduce your laugh. Students in this school. So I want you to open up to me. What is eating your body is wrong with you? Talk to me. Promise you won't tell my mom I told you. I promise she won't lie. It's my mom. She's extremely rude to my dad. Oh. They quarrel every day in the house. She doesn't even care about me or my dad. The last time I was sick, she refused to take me to the hospital unless dad gets her a car. Wow, are you serious? I'm so sorry to hear about that. 
she cries with my dad every day. She loves fast food and she doesn't even like cooking that much. Um, the last time I tried talking to her, she chased me away. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so 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 sorry. Really? Yes. I love the idea to oh. catch you. Oh. You're welcome. My dear, your story is really a miracle. Wow. <laughs> I, 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 I really enjoyed our outing though. I'm glad you came out for me. <laughs> How about your husband? That one. Mm. My dear, that marriage is hell. I've been in hell, honestly. He doesn't provide for me. He doesn't take care of me. He doesn't take up his responsibilities at all. I've been suffering. Are you being serious right now? Very serious, honestly. I mean, look at you. You're a beautiful lady and you deserve to be taken care of properly. It's, unfortunately, he's not taking care of me. He doesn't do anything for me at all. You won't even believe that I, I even used to beg him. Like, I, I have to beg and beg and beg for him to give me money to buy Maggie. Maggie. I'm telling you. Is he that poor? My darling, poor is an understatement. If there is any word higher than that, that should be attributed to Mary. I mean, hell, honestly. Oh. You know, I've, 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 I've never experienced happiness in that marriage. Ever since I gave birth to my daughter, huh, that has been the last time I really found happiness. That is joy. Ever since then, it's been all bitterness. I feel serious, basically. Well, thank you for making my day. Thank you too. I mean, do you do you have a car? Do you move? How do you move around? I don't have a car. You don't. <laughs> yes, we never buy Maggie. Go come buy a car for me. I don't have a car. You have to come out tomorrow morning so I get you a car. I'll take you to the car dealership. See, like. No, I'll get you a car. I'll get you something like this. For real? Yeah. Oh, God bless you. Thank you so much. You'll give me a car. I will. <laughs> I promise. So I'll be a car owner. <laughs> I will no longer be beaten by the rain. No, I wouldn't want to see you moving around under the sun, under the rain like that anymore. Hey. No. And um, how about I show you my house? Very perfect. All right, let's go. You get me, car. I promise. Are you serious? Something better than what I want. Hey, Mba, let's go to your house. <laughs> hey, let us go to your house. So oh, let us go to your house. Okay, so let's my bed of our last Tried. Nine. Eight. You are improving. Well, that indeed was a wonderful lecture. Miss Rose, thank you so much for being part of this. Don't mention. Miss Larry, can I have a word you share? I'll be glad to have a word you share. Sure. Um, Isla? Yes, sir. Take your books to the room. I'll join you shortly. Okay. Bye, Isla. Bye, Isla. So, it's about Isla. Um, I had a conversation with them a few days ago. 
and she told me the reason why she was not been performing well in school. I don't know if she discussed it with you. No, she hasn't. Okay. Um, she said you and your mom are always fighting. See, I don't want you to feel uncomfortable with this conversation and at the same time not expecting you to tell me about your marital problems because she already did. For the sanity of your daughter, at least try and make peace with your wife. I know it's not your fault, but at least try to avoid this small small fight. Please, let love lead. Believe me, I am trying. I am trying the best I can. Mr. Nami, please try harder. Alright. Okay. In this okay. life, no condition is permanent. I might be struggling today. No matter how long it takes, it will not delay. It might be so dark. This is your house. Yes, no. This is no better than the one in Atlanta. You don't see. You mean you have a house in Atlanta? Sure. Come on in, let me get you some kiss. <laughs> you like it? I love it. <laughs> this is my kind of house. Wait, wait, wait. You mean you own this house? <laughs> get me something to eat. Mm -mm. We've been buying food recently from the fast food. So... That is because you have refused to cook a proper meal for me in the house. <laughs> well, that is because you have refused to meet up with my demand. Demands? Mm -hmm. What demands are you talking about? A car. Get me a car. Clara, I do not have a car. I don't drive a car to work. I use Keke. But you want me to get you a car? Yes. Because I am not used to entering Keke. Yes. Poverty has not gotten used to me yet. Clara, what is your problem? What has gotten over you? What's your problem? This is your new habit of always making tantrums everywhere all the time. Ha. What is your problem? My problem is you now. And there's this thing you do every time when I'm talking to you, you're always pressing your phone. You've developed this new habit of always, always, always being, being glued to your phone. What is the problem? I mean, I don't understand you. All I'm asking you to do is to man up and get your wife a car. Listen, this is going to cause a big fight in this house. Oh. If you do not change your attitude, it's going to cause a big fight in this house. Well, what's your problem? Other men buy their wife cars. They buy their wife's cars, but just one car I am asking for me and you're here ranting. Eh? Please, I am not used to poverty. I can't be trekking or jumping bikes or keke or whatever. I need a car. Ah! <laughs> what do you want to do? I have some things that are ruled over, so I'll need to take care of them. Oh, babe, it's going to just rest. I'll just go fresh now. <laughs> I'll be done with this show. Okay, let me hurry back to the kitchen. Your phone will be ready in the meantime. Just one minute. No problem. <laughs> Oh, 
home. She's gonna be home. She's gonna be home. Gonna be home. <sighs> Did she tell you where she went to? No, she's not. Thank you, babe. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. <clears throat> You're a good man, you know. Why did you say that? You made this miracle to me. <laughs> Am I supposed to ask you for anything before making a meal for you? I mean, we are lovers now. <laughs> <laughs> we should be able to take care of each other. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you too. I'm glad you enjoyed it. so much, Miss Rose. I appreciate your support. You still need to stop thanking me. This one is just like my own daughter. So. Alright, have a... Ah! Teacher, how are you? How are you, my friend? Okay. Um, how are you, my daughter? She's doing amazing now. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, thank you for your assistance, okay? I was actually in there. Oh, really? Oh, okay. <laughs> Have a great day. Oh, thank you. Stay safe, okay? okay. Bye! Where are you coming from? Dressed like this. I want to see my friends, Chimamanda. 
in this appearance. And what is wrong with my appearance? Clara, you are a married woman. Stop dressing as if you're still looking for a boyfriend. Secondly, I noticed that there are new clothes in the wardrobe. Where did you get the money to buy them? Nani, listen. If this is the topic you want to subject me to, you lie. As I am not interested. Okay? And as for the new clothes you saw, Larry, I can't remember telling you that I am as broke as you are. Yes, I have my money. I have the money to take care of myself alone since you're not man enough to take care of me. And please, don't even try this nonsense again. Did you hear me? Rubbish. You want you to carry your poverty stick this year, open your mouth start asking me nonsense question from your poverty mouth. Please respect yourself. Oh. Only if I go to work. Is there something I can eat? Babe. Clara, is there food so I can eat? single day is one thing or the other. If she's not laughing like a lunatic, she's pressing her phone. It's a lady, calm down. Have you tried for this with your I have done that over and over again. When it's not working, she's just who she is. And the new habit she has developed right now is she's always slipping out of the house. She never sleeps at home. And I'm trying so hard not to touch her. Mr. Larin, I believe this marriage can work. There are times she'll be in a happy moment. At least try to talk to her in a happy moment. Who knows? Do what she would not done for her before. Like, try this evening. Make her happy. Maybe she will change. Trust me, I've tried. I have. <sighs> I, I'm, so, I'm so sorry this is happening. I'm so sorry. Don't, don't think too much. She, she will come around. Yeah, I... <sighs> I'm not going to think too much about it. Yeah, I'm just... In this life... Honey, no food is ready! Is Honey! Baby, I made your favorite! No matter how long it takes, Honey! it will not delay. It might be Baby. today, but I know my hustle will surely pay. As I day hustle and they pray, one day make everything pay. As I de hustle and de pray, Papa, show me the way. Biko, Papa. Who was that? Who was who? Who was the person who dropped you off? Um, oh, that was my friend. That's a lie. It's Constance. No. That's a lie. I saw it, and that's not Constance's car. Now I'm going to ask you for the last time. Who was the person who dropped you off? So you're cheating on me. You're cheating on me with another man. I don't know what you're talking about though. You don't, you don't know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. You are cheating on me. How dare you, Clara? I am not cheating on you. I'm not. Eh, uh, but even if I'm cheating on you, eh? Uh eh? -huh. Uh -huh. Is it bad? Are you not worth cheating on? Eh? Uh -huh. After you're, you're not smart enough. So just not you. Larry wants to beat me up. Kill me. Stop. Make sure you kill me up. Oh. Hey, Larry, you're a useless man. Look at you. Look at you. You're a useless man. You are what to do now? Yes. Just put your phone Hey, you will kill me today. You're a useless man. Idiot. Stupid man. You don't have money. You have no one to beat a woman. Come and beat me. See me. Beat me now. Leave me alone! You don't have sense! Broke man, look at you! Big for nothing! You're just empty! You're a fool! You're no use to me! You're useless! Stupid man! You think it's not enough to carry your beds? It's not like having beds, though! Make money! Make money! 
again. Oh, please. Shit, shit. Where is it going? Get out. Wait, where do you think you're going to? No, 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 no. Let's go and get that idiot arrested, please. No, don't. Wait, my God will judge him. The God that I serve will judge him. You will punish him. What is too much now? Please, please, please. Do you understand? I'm so sorry. I can't let you go back there. You have to stay here till you're fully recovered. I'm scared that that beast might lay his fingers on you again. Good man, you just a devil. I'm so sorry about that. Yes, I see how big God is. Sorry, sorry, come again. So oh! Sorry. Oh. So sorry. Excuse me. I won't hurt you. Let me get that for you immediately. Very hot one. She has not been home for about a week. And she's not been kicking my balls. Eh? Have you tried to reach out to her friends? Of course I have. She has refused to pick their calls either. Mr. Larry, you know you can talk to me, right? Did you beat her? What? No, of course I didn't. I only gripped her, that's all. Are you sure you didn't? Would I lie to you? Chris, why would a married woman leave her home? I don't know. Let's just hope she returns. I hope so. Me, I have great tension for you and Bisola. Should I send you? Oh, you didn't have to do that. It's fine. Thank you, anyways. I appreciate it. Why is you moving here with me? See, you don't need to think about it. Hmm? It's nothing to think about. It's all about your safety. I don't want you close to that lunatic no more. I don't want that guy beating you.
I'm leaving. I am done with this marriage. I am tired, Larry. I'm tired. I'm leaving? Baby, what has come over you? You just, you just leave the house, you come back anytime you want, and now you're saying you want to leave your matrimonial home. You didn't even tell me where you where you went to and who you've been with. How is that your business? No, Lani, how is that your business? Listen, I am done. You see, I am tired of being in poverty. I don't want to, I don't want poverty anymore. I want to embrace light. This is darkness, okay? So shit now, let me pass. Please don't do this to us. Please. See, this, there's no need begging. I am please, done. You have, a, you have a family. You have a family to take care of. Please. You, you, you are who? I beg you, Larry, listen. I am not doing it again. Like I said, I am tired of poverty. Okay, I have seen the light and I am not ready to turn it off. I want to go. Ah! Listen, baby, you want to no need to beg me. Please, don't leave us. No. Please don't leave us. I beg you. If you have anything to give to me, give it to yourself. Eh? Use it and make yourself to, to be alive again please, because at least you are a dead man. So, please, so please, let's go. Please, let's Will you shut up? Are you mad? Are you okay? Let's go. Oh, you want you want hunger to kill you, Abi? As your child be like this, you want to reduce to bone. You want to die in poverty. Or you are just between I and your father, who you will stay with. I'll stay with my dad, Mom. Please let's stay. You will stay with your dad. No, you have chosen poverty. You have chosen poverty, right? You know I just pity you. I pity you. You know why I pity you? Leave me alone. I'm talking to you. You know why I pity you? Because you're still a child. Finish you. I just pray hunger does not kill you alongside your your your, your poverty king father. So please follow me now. You want to stay? And I wish you the best. Every day, I wake up and I try make everything pay. So many nights. She left me because of money. <laughs> Papa, now your hand I did. She abandoned me because of money. Papa, now your hand I did. Biko, Papa. What does she want me to do? What does she expect me to do? I have given her everything I have. What else can I offer? I'm trying my best. I'm working hard. Biko, Biko, Baba. Biko, And see who it is that's trying to separate our family. Biko, Baba. Biko, Baba. Don't leave me. That guy is a lunatic. Now well, see what he's done to your face. Same thing he did to me that made me run down here for safety. He beat the hell out of me. Just, just imagine your face. Don't worry, I hope you're passing your divorce process. Please, baby, I can't wait. Honestly, I can't wait to be done with him. He's very crazy. I'm so sorry, baby. <sighs> I bless God for breaking me like me and removing me out from darkness. Guys, no blood. He's just a demon. I hate him. You don't mean it. Like she left you for another man. Yes, she did. What's the reason? She is tired of, of living in poverty. 
that's not reasonable. Well, I'm so sorry. I'm I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. Why didn't you call to inform me? I, you have your own issues, don't I? I didn't want to disturb you with my marital problems. But God knows that I have always been a good husband to my wife and a good father to my daughter. God knows that. God knows the reason for all this. I'm really sorry. I'm glad I came to check up on Bisola. If I didn't come, I would have known what's happening. She has been off school for the past two weeks. I hope it doesn't repeat itself because exams is just around the corner. Yeah, why I would. I'll make sure she's up in her studies. I'll you make should. sure that. Yeah, I would. I'll be strong, be strong. I'm, I'm, ha I'm happy the court gave you custody of Bisola. Yeah. That's the great thing out of all this. I just can't wait to get over this divorce. Sugar. <laughs> You're welcome, Mr. Larry. Thank you. Uh, uh, what is what is going on? Going on here? Um, I'm cleaning. I noticed the chefs are dirty, and I realized maybe you didn't get time to clean before going to work. So after teaching you Sola, I decided to help you clean the chefs. Hmm. <laughs> but the thing is that I I usually. Don't worry, it's fine. We have to teach Bisola how to do some house chairs. That's why I personally you probably cleaning the house. Yes, Dad, I'm learning because when I grow up, I want to be hard working. Oh, that's my girl. Come to Daddy. <clears throat> I love you so much, huh? I love you too. Mm. That's my. Hmm, I perceive something great, is there? Is there something on the fire? Yes, yes, yes. Come on, sit. Just me all what you've been doing today. Who said that? Uh, 
happy. It's my first child. I mean, I'm happy. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations to us, baby. You know that child is really going to be beautiful. If she's there, I'm so so the child has to be like. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. Yeah, me too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Thank you for the nice to you. Baby, I should say thank you. Yes. I mean, I owe you all the blessings you Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> It's been a long time I saw my daughter this happy. This is indeed a miracle. I'm a father of children. I love being with them. I noticed it. <laughs> but I came in, I didn't want to be in your happy moment, so I went back in. Mm. Thank you so much for your motherly nature. Don't mention. Uh huh. There is something I really love to talk to you about. How do you find yourself? What is it? I think your job is not really paying you well. Why don't you go for another job? <laughs> don't look for another job. <laughs> you forget what country you're in and how difficult it is to get a job. Negativity should get out of our conversation. Just look at the positive side of it. You stated the accountant, right? And you were a chartered accountant. But if you work with CBM, it doesn't have to pay. So it's possible for you to be there. Looking at the positive side. I never thought about it. <sighs> Where do I even start? Just go out there, apply for jobs. Keep, keep applying. When you start, do stop. Who gets the job? Hmm. Okay. Thank you very much for being a good friend. Yeah. I think you should. Yeah, I would. How about you? I'm fine, I'll sleep in the couch. Oh no. I insist. You just let me I'll sleep on the couch. I don't feel inconvenienced. Oh no, you are not inconveniencing me, okay? You sleep in the bedroom, I'll take peace of life. I insist. I insist. That's not good. Right. Mm. Nice. Your story is really very really sad. It's so pathetic. It's really painful as you just left without even looking back. And it's been six months now, but I'm beginning to get my peace of mind. I'm moving on. I don't know enough about that. How's your job now? How's work? How's business in general? Okay. Business is moving very well. My job is good. And uh, just to remind you, I've not forgotten about the work thing we discussed about. Um, our current managing director will be returning in one's time. I'm hoping we know that you will place him as our new managing director. Just hope this thing works out to help this possible. <laughs> Let's just hope on God and try and know how to make that possible. And for you, you be my good buddy and you'll stay my buddy. So I will do everything possible to make sure that. I'm working hard for us making you an annual money contract. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, how is your company? How is everything going over there? <laughs> like ever since you left, it's, it's been no good management. It's been poor. In fact, it's, it's you that I'm hoping on to get a better job. <sighs> I hope you get a better job for me too. Very, very soon. I'm only happy that means you're standing on your feet. Mm -hmm. Have a choice though. Okay. 
And then, uh, what more do you need here? Oh, that's my daughter's teacher. Oh, she's really a nice person. Ah, yes, she's the one who has really been covered with lots of other things, practically useless. Hmm. The way she attended to me before we came in was wonderful. She's a really nice person. Yes, yeah, she is. She is. <laughs> I'm only happy you're good. I only see when you come and see my old time friends. So that I can be as if I'm forgotten. I appreciate you. I'm happy when I want to stand on this one tonight. Okay, I'll see you. Felix, <laughs> thank you. I'll see you, bro. With a traveling bag? Yeah, I'll be spending two days. Two days? You're just telling me about it. Oh. I'm so sorry, Skip, when I arrived at that window. Honestly, you're not being fair. I don't know what's up with you with traveling, traveling, and you keep traveling all the time. You don't ever care for me as you used to. I'm running into you. Okay? I don't want to have a lengthy conversation this time. Okay, I need to go work. Right? I can't just sit at home. I need to do something so this can be done. Something, something. All this is not nice. Babe, well, I'll let you know when I'm ready. Miss Rose. Hey, uh, what will I offer you? I'm fine. Okay. I'm afraid I'm sorry. 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 i Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that it's it's all thanks to you. Ah, we thank God. You know, you're not just beautiful in appearance. You also have a beautiful heart. Thank you. Ah, I was just I just wanted you to. <laughs> I don't know how this will sound, but I have a, a request to make. Okay, what request is that? Well, I. Would you like to hang out sometime? So we can talk? Okay, that's fine. Okay. Um, so what day of the week is, is free for you? Convenient. Let's see if we can. We can see. We can. We can do that. Thank you. Uh, it's okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.
It must be one of these rats that used one of them now. I mean, like, are, you, are, you, are, you, are you trying to say that I cheated on you or something? Jason, rats! Jason, rats! But hold on, what were you doing in my pocket? What were you doing with my trousers? Really? After everything I've done for you, the best thing you can do now is that I can accuse me of cheating. Oh, Jason. please, stop it, stop it! Shut up, my friend! Jason, this fire that you're trying to ignite will consume you. Honestly, it will consume you. What kind of nonsense is this one? I won't do this with you. You're playing with a, 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 a rat. It's your village rat. Jason, it's in this game you're playing. This game, you're, I don't like it all. Hey! What kind of nonsense lie is this one? When do these rats start, start using condoms? The rats have to put the condom inside your pocket. This man is clearly cheating. slowly. What if I do? What if another man takes her away from us? Oh. Bisela will be so heartbroken if that happens. I need to act fast before someone else overthrows me. so special and very instrumental in my family. You've been like a mother to my daughter and you've been extremely supportive. You've helped to wipe away the pain from my life because you know what I've been through at recent times. Believe me, you are a blessing from God. A blessing that I would love to see every single day of my life. Please, marry me and complete this circle of love. <sighs> Make my life perfect. Let's be a family. 
I'm wearing you. <laughs> I love you too. Mm. Close your eyes. That I'm so in love with you. Stole my heart away, and I can't get to bed. So madly in love with you And you took my heart away And I can't get it back Thank you, thank you. Wow, what is that? Mm -hmm. You know, last night was the most beautiful night of my life You really want to in bed Stop it! Yeah, I'm serious. You are. What time are you going to imagine? Oh yeah, my flight is for 9 a.m. but I have to be there for 8 a.m. It's 7, baby. You should go take your bath. Yes, I will take my bath. But first, I need to take care of my baby girl before I leave. Okay. Oh, sure. At least you guys too. Come on, it's just for two weeks, okay? Who is this just? <laughs> now you take care of my daughter, okay? Okay. I love you. Love you more. Smiling. Why are you smiling? Oh, sorry, you were saying. I'm talking to you and you're pressing your phone. Really? You were saying. Never mind. Okay. Really? Oh, okay. you just said never mind. Am I supposed to beg me to tell you what 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 what, what the issue is? Okay. I'm sorry. What was the issue? Never mind, Joe.
came just like that. Wow. Your room looks more beautiful. You won't change the couch in the corner. Why not the one for play like the like dress for her? I had to change it because of you and at the end of the day you still left. Ah, I didn't leave you. You were busy flirting with the new because we had issues. My ex-wife. Wow, you don't go married to her. <laughs> That's a thing of the past now. Yeah. I'm done with all of that. So it's just you now. Do you trust me, Jess? I know you think you can go. It's a good thing you say the way. Yeah? I was a playboy, not anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. I'm a changed person now. I'll give you. Are you sure? <laughs> so much you have no idea. Oh guess what? Oh dear The trip was good. Great. I got some gifts for my two favorite girls in the world. But I need you both to close your eyes first. Okay, eyes closed. <clears throat> uh huh. That's more like it. Eyes closed. You have to open your eyes yet? Keep your eyes closed, closed, closed. Can you open our eyes? Not yet. Just hold on. Can I open? Ta-da! You may open now. No, baby, this is beautiful. 
<laughs> I'm glad you love it. I love birds. This is nice. <laughs> mm. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, nice. Dad? Ah, oh, no, no, no. I could never, ever forget my princess. Come on. How could I forget you? Mm. I got you your favorite. <laughs> okay. Go to the hospital. Can you not hear me? Oh. Say that I want to go to the hospital for checkup. Okay. I need some money. Mm, I need money for the checkup. Must you go to the hospital or use? Yes. I have to know how my baby is doing. Anyways, I don't have money on me. I have other important things to spend my money on. Meaning what? Are you saying my baby is not important? Our baby is not important? I never said anything like that. So what are you saying? I just said that I have other important things to spend money on. Besides, you're not the first pregnant woman. Other pregnant women do not even stress and demand from their partners the way you do. Wow. Impressive. And you're not the first man to get a woman pregnant. What is wrong with you, Jason? You are about to be a father very soon. Stop being a weakling and man up. Jesse, you give me that money. I am going to go talking with you. You give me that money. Come back here. Where are you going to? Jesse, don't make me wrong. Don't make me wrong. You will not have peace in this house without giving me that money. Jesse! I know, but I just wanted you to see the best part of me. Thank you. Are you okay? I'm okay. I'm feeling very weak lately. I think you need to see a doctor. I know. I need to go first class for that breakfast, okay? Yeah. Yeah. How did it go? I don't know. I should be happy or sad. I mean, what is it? You, you're putting me on my toes. I think I fucked up. What is it? The, the doctor said, um, I'm pregnant. That you're pregnant? Well, that's, that's good news. You're, you're supposed to be happy about it. Yes. Are you happy for me? Of course I am happy. And you should be happy too. Or oh, don't you love me? I do. Just I feel like too sudden. Oh, what is sudden about? There's nothing sudden about this, baby. Listen. I've always wanted a child after Bisola. And I'm happy it's happening right now, especially with, with, with you. Baby, I'm happy. Come here. How can it be that I'm so in love with you? Stole my heart away, and I can't get it back. How can it be? I'm so madly in love with you, and you took my heart away, and I can't get it back. How can it be that I'm so in love with you? He 
ever such a heartless and a wicked man. You abandoned me and two children. I have been the one caring for them, paying their school fees with no support from you. Chibike has been sick for weeks now, and you refuse to send money for treatment. Knowing fully where I just lost my job. You are such a bad father. God will judge you, Jesse. What are I gotten myself into. All my life, I was with Larry. He never raised his hands on me. What kind of mistake did I make? I should have been patient with Larry because he's a good person. And what's with you always inquiring about my whereabouts like I'm some toddler or something? Jason! Well, I guess now is the perfect time to tell you both. But firstly, I want you to take a guess. Um, you want us to go for outing? Nah, try again. Okay, um, you're traveling. Are you a bit close? Um, Me. baby, you just spill it. <laughs> okay, I'll spill it. Are you ready for this? Mm. I now have a house. I mean, we now have a house. <laughs> Baby, you bought a house in the middle uh, No, it's not like I bought the house. Actually, the bank did. And they want me to move to the city. I was just waiting, so I'm sure of the transaction before I go to the city. Dad, so we're moving out from this house. Of course, we'll still be doing in this house. We're moving into a bigger house where you have lots of toys to play with, lots of play spaces, <laughs> lots of teddy bears and everything. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, baby, I'm so happy for you. Mm -hmm. See the way God has changed your story. Yeah. I thank God for everything. But most especially, I thank you for helping me go through. tracking him for the past two years now and luckily for us we'll be able to arrest him in the airport so and the court have ordered for us to seize his property and now we had so much property what 
Yes, madam, we have one hour to vacate this building. Vacate to where? Please, ma'am. You have to hurry up and get your things. We have only one hour to vacate. That's the court order. Yeah. So you have one hour to vacate, please. You guys are mistaken. You can't be my husband. It is. It is. What do you want a pregnant woman to go to? Madam, please, we have one hour. Yeah, who is it? Come in. Well, your story is quite touching. And I'm sorry that you had to go through all that. I'm very sorry. I'm sorry for everything I did to you. But listen, I have changed. I promise to be a better wife and a good mother to be so. Well, unfortunately, that is no longer possible with me. I've moved on. Mm -hmm. There's no woman here. This is the lovely woman I have moved out with. Rose? And she's carrying my child. Same way you're carrying Jason's child. I'm sorry, Mom, but I find her being a good wife and to me. You can't say that, That's baby. That's my girl. I will leave it up forever. I am your mother. And no one else will treat you better than your mother. But you should have thought about that before you went out there chasing a high taste life. And I just said, I am sorry. I'm sorry, forgive me. But I'm happy that you have finally found the good man you've been looking for. <laughs> Okay, so I will you to be able. I will take you shopping, I will buy you toys, anything you want, I will do it for you. Listen, Clara, it's too late, okay? It's just too late. I mean, it can't be too late. By the way, we are moving out of this house tomorrow. The bank I work for gave me a house. Mm -hmm. You now work with the bank? Oh, yes. As the manager. And we are living life much better. <coughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, please, I need to be in my daughter's life. Uh, listen, please. at this point, yeah, please, I'll, I'll need to ask you to leave my house. Please, leave. I don't have any Please, please, just leave my house. Don't embarrass yourself. Please. My family and I would love to be alone. Please, leave my house, Clara. Please,
papa, I they cry, make everything pay. She left me because of money. Papa, now your hand I day. She abandoned me because of money. Papa, now your hand I day. Biko Papa, Biko Papa. Don't leave me like this. Biko Papa, Biko, Biko Papa. Biko, show me the way. Biko Papa, Biko Papa. Don't leave me like this. Biko Papa, Biko, Biko Papa. Biko, show me the way.